Ryan with cnsave.com back for another week of eBay sales. It's Saturday. I've had my first sale of the week. This is an Iowa Hawkeyes Nike or is it Nike? 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 Whatever. Um, shirt. Long sleeve shirt. And I got it on sale at Goodwill for $2 and change. And it sold on sale on eBay for $18.74. Buyer is paying shipping. So I'll put this in a bag and send it off. It is Sunday and I had one sale overnight. Very slow weekend. Uh, this is a Police Academy Eugene Tackleberry action figure. I've never seen this movie. I have no idea who this is, but I got it at an estate sale half off day for 50 cents. And I've had it for a while. It finally sold on sale for $19.99. And buyer's paying shipping, of course. It is light enough to go via first class. I just need to find a little box to put it in. And there's Miss Lucy. Hi, Lucy. Oh, glowy eyes have a flash on. Oh, Goodwill had a sale this past week, half off. It was slim pickings. Um, I went to two stores and I got, let's see, this coat down through here, all of these clothes, half off. I think they, I think they all rang up as coats, so that would have meant I paid like two ninety five for them. No, three. I don't know. Five ninety five divided by half. That's what I paid. Um, and this is my rack of things that I need to list. I still had some things that I already had but all of this is listed this is my women's clothing rack and my men's clothing rack and these racks are really good i did get them on amazon uh they hold a lot i've had cheaper racks that broke so i'll link these racks um in the description bar below if you're interested in them lucy is biting my fingers this missy missy with your glowy eyes oh they're they're red lucy oh they're they're kind of blue oh lucy's eyes glow with the flash <laughs> should we go upstairs Let's go upstairs. Okay, come in. It is Sunday night. I've been busy getting some shipments ready for FBA. Finally had another eBay sale come in. This is a little Adventures in Dairyland. Just a little book from the American Dairy Association. And that's um, Annette Funicello. I got this. I think I got it for free. Yeah, I got it for free in an estate sale. I've had it for a while. I've had lots of watchers. Uh, it finally sold for $19.99 buyer did pay shipping. I'm just going to need to find maybe some cardboard to uh, put around it so that I can put it in an envelope to ship it off. It's Monday and I've had one sale so far. This Case Logic CD case I actually got for free. I was at a uh, family run estate sale and they had a bunch of stuff out in the Goodwill pile and they said, you know, take whatever you want. So they had some CDs in this which were pretty junky. Um, but the case itself was in great shape and it sold for $24.99. So CD cases um, definitely be worth some good money. It's just a nylon case, has a strap on it. Um, and buyer paid shipping, of course, and it's going to go in a large priority mailbox. Um, yeah, so look for CD cases. It is Monday night and I just had a small sale of this small antique dictionary. It is a genuine antique. It's from 1915 and antique is anything a hundred years old or older. So this is an official antique. People overuse the word antique all the time. It drives me nuts. Antique, a hundred years old, vintage for me, 30 years old, unless it's like kind of a pop culture type thing, I might say vintage anyway. Um, I think I got this like at a fill -a bag sale or free book day or something. I don't know where I got it. I didn't pay much for it and it sold for a whopping $7.99. I've had it for a while and it's on sale, but a buyer is paying shipping and it is going to go via first class. It is Wednesday and just had a sale. Things are back to being super slow again this week. Uh, this is a Massimo denim jacket. It's an XXL. This is a Target brand and normally I wouldn't pick up Target brands, but when it comes to denim and when it comes to a larger size like this, I will um, get it. So this is kind of just like a blazer style. I got it for um, less than three bucks at Goodwill and it just sold on sale for $19.99. Buyers paying shipping and it is going to go in a flat rate bubble mailer. That was the saddest week of sales ever. I'm so sad. Mm. Estate sale Saturday. This is the reality of selling online. 
It is hot, humid, and I just hauled a trunk worth of books to my car. I'm at estate sale number two. I look like a drowned rat. I am just dripping with sweat. It's miserable. Seriously, I am gonna die. <laughs> it's so miserable, hot, and humid. So that sale was a bust. Was, I think it's being run by an auction company. All they have are signs all over the place saying, you break it, you buy it, not responsible for accident. And most everything in there was junk. Estate sale number three, no signage, but a million cars and nowhere to park. Guess this is it. Spent $50 on vintage flatware, perfume, plus CDs, and some VHS for Amazon FBA. Oh, family run estate sales are the worst. They're so unorganized. Like, clear off a table to check out. Just clear off a table. They had a kitchen table filled with stuff, and that's where they were checking out at. No! There's the house I grew up in. That brick house. 728 Cataract trunk is completely full of books for Amazon. Homemade icy time. Here's the haul. pretty girl he's so pretty <sighs> okay I am showered and cleaned up um, so I'm making this video I did last week's eBay sales then the little clips that I took today which I usually post to Instagram uh, and Facebook and I'm just gonna continue on with the weekly sales for this coming week since last week was so slow so yeah we'll just keep going with the video until the end of July and yes those little video clips are filmed with the snapchat app but I don't post them to snapchat I just save them to my phone and post them elsewhere because I just don't like the snapchat app itself but I do like the filters and the little uh, clip thing so don't have to ask me for my snapchat name because none of the videos get posted there but they do get posted to Instagram and Facebook like I said okay so starting a new week with eBay sales this Universal Studios Hollywood pictorial guide I got for free in a free box and it is from 1996. It's sold for $19.99, buyer's paying shipping. Just need to find an envelope, put some cardboard around it so it doesn't bend. And then two of these elf on the shelf, elf pet things. I got these at Barnes and Noble during their $2 sale. Originally I had them sent to FBA, but then the price bottomed out. So I had them sent back to me and they are currently on eBay. And I sold two of them together for $14.32. Buyer is paying shipping on these as well. It is Sunday and I've had three sales. First is this L.L. Bean women's shirt that I actually just listed last night. Uh, it sold for $24.99. I got it at Goodwill for $2.12. Buyer's paint shipping. It does weigh over a pound, so it's going in a flat rate bubble mailer. This men's Wrangler 4X um, shirt with pearl snaps. Got it at Goodwill for $2.12. It sold for $19.99. Buyers paying shipping. It is light enough to go via first class in a poly bag. I get the poly bags from value mailers. In case, I've had several people ask. Valuemailers.com. And then this little guy, this little um, Bronson collectible. Little cats. I have several of them. I got them at Goodwill for 50 cents. And this one sold on sale for $7.99. Buyers paying shipping. It's going first class in a little cardboard box. Um, I just ordered some on Amazon. But I've also got them in the past from Uline.com. So I just like to keep a lot of different uh, shipping supplies on hand so I can get the uh, best deal and the fastest um, on shipping. It is Sunday night and I just sold this little um, Anya key billfold thingamajig. <laughs> um, Anya. I got it at a uh, fill -a bag sale so I probably paid like 10, 20 cents for it and it sold. For $19.99, buyer's paying shipping. It'll go in a first class. And I'm going to show you the current situation of my inventory. This is the unfinished side of my basement where the washer and dryer are and storage. All my eBay inventory is now over here. This is what we spent today doing. Moving the shelving and everything over here. There's my stockpile. Um, because I'm getting, well first we're painting and then I'm going to get new carpet. 
over here. I When I bought this house, I put new carpet in, and then the next year we got water in the basement. And it wasn't a lot, but it was enough to ruin the carpet. So we had to pull it all up, and it's a mess. And we haven't had water in years now, so I'm like, okay, it's safe to get carpet. Um, yeah, but we had to move everything over, so now we're going to paint and then go look for carpet, which is like super not fun. And now all my inventory is a mess over on the other side of the basement, but that is just how it's gonna have to be until I can get uh, this situation resolved. <laughs> It is a Wednesday and I finally had another sale, although it's very small. <laughs> uh, this uh, Kathy mug, these vintage name mugs, I just like to pick these up. They're kind of a fun thing to have in your eBay store. Um, usually get them in a fill bag or for 25 cents or sometimes even less than that. Um, this one sold on sale for $7 and change. I can't remember exactly. Uh, Buyers Pain Shipping is going in a priority mail box. And, uh, you know, things like this, these little small sales, you know, they're kind of fun. You can get them cheap, but they're also a good way to draw in traffic because sometimes I get a lot of traffic on this item. Not everybody will buy it, but uh, sometimes they buy other things in my store. It's now Wednesday evening, and I just sold this Chinese brush painting set. Uh, I got a bunch of these at Barnes & Noble during their $2 sale. Um... I talked about that a lot before. I originally sent a lot of stuff to Amazon, but I never did send this stuff uh, because this wasn't in their catalog and I didn't want to create a new listing. So I just popped it up on eBay and uh, just sold the first one for $19.95. Buyer's Paint Shipping It's going to go priority mail in a priority mail rectangle box. And speaking of the Barnes & Noble stuff, the other day when I showed you the two Elf on the Shelf outfits and the same day I sold the... Universal Studio brochure, well, oops, somehow the labels got switched and the person who ordered the Elf on the Shelf outfits got the Universal Studio brochure, the Universal Studio brochure buyer got the Elf on the Shelf outfit, so just had to refund $45 to those two buyers, but mistakes happen, you just gotta roll with the punches and move on to the next sale. Thursday had a couple sales overnight uh, these two Aladdin mugs I think I just got these at a fill bag sale and I uh, lotted them together for $9.99 and then this uh, straw hat it is whitetail California straws um I usually get these for a dollar or less to be honest nobody ever wants these straw ones but um they do sell. Sometimes it can take a little while, but they do eventually sell. And this one sold for $19.99. Buyers paid shipping on everything, of course. So I just need to find boxes for them. And the uh, eBay inventory situation in the basement just keeps growing. Oh, my gosh. Guy's coming out to measure for carpet on uh, Monday. So hopefully after that, we can get the carpet in and get everything back to normal. So till then, I just got to dig through everything when I have a sale. It is Friday and had one sale overnight, this Dunkin' Donuts Virginia mug. I couldn't find one like this online. They had other cities, but I didn't have a anything to go on for a Virginia. So I took that to me. Maybe it was harder to find. So I priced it at $24.99. That is what it sold for. Buyer's Paint Shipping. It's going in a little priority mailbox. And I think I got this for uh, a quarter. So look for these Virginia, or I'm sorry, any of the uh, state Dunkin' Donut mugs. But yeah, Virginia went for a good price. It is now Sunday and I'm going to finish out the week with one last sale here. Uh, the Steamboat Willie mug. I bought um, all of those Disney mugs, well minus some because several have sold, um, for 57 bucks which made them like $1.80 each. Um, and this one sold for $19.99. Buyer's Paint Shipping It's going to go in a small pretty mailbox. Sorry I'm out of breath. I just lugged a bunch of clothes down here had to put them back where the clothes racks are. Then I had to move all the flatware to get to that box. But a carpet guy is coming tomorrow to measure and then hopefully they can get the carpet ordered and we can get it in here. Because this is not fun. I actually cringe when I have a sale. I'm like, oh, crud, I don't want a sale. Come on down here and try to find it. Um, but I am slowly getting some things listed. I've moved the stuff that's not listed to my bedroom. But then again, I got to bring it down here and find it and not get it mixed up with, oh gosh, it's just so, it's so much. I can't wait till I can put my space back together. Uh, but anyway, 
Um, I am doing vlogist this year, which is, well, it's vlogging every day in August, but I say video every day in August. So this video will go up as part of vlogist. So I think this will go up on Tuesday. So the second day of vlogist, I will put this up. So uh, yeah, I will be doing all of my sales and pickups and everything. All of the videos for those that I would normally do standalone, I'll just be filming that stuff every day for August. So be sure to keep up with Vlogist to keep up with all of my eBay sales. I'll update you on Amazon. I'll show you anything I haul and then everything else that's going on around here for Vlogist. So if you like this sales update video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more eBay videos and of course for Vlogist. So that is it for this time, guys. Again, just a reminder, my eBay playlist is linked below. I have a lot of videos up on eBay. I get a lot of questions every week, specific eBay things. They've most all been covered already. So link to my eBay videos are below and the link to my eBay books. I have nine books that I've written about eBay. Uh, so you can go and check those out too to answer any questions you have about making money on eBay the way I do. So that is it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.